In Plaid Cymru, we clearly support maximum devolution for Wales. We would also be broadly supportive of moves to build an English Parliament, but I would have to say that uh, the moves in England to build uh, democracy in England have to come from the grassroots of English society and it wouldn't be a matter for me as a politician from another country to come to England and tell English people what to do. Clearly identity is important but what we're trying to build in Wales is a, a civic based uh, nationalism, which is about representing everyone who lives within the territory of Wales. So therefore, Welsh identity for us is about everyone who lives in Wales, and is certainly not a question about blood ties or uh, ethnicity in any way. Well, ultimately, if Scotland votes to become independent, that will change the shape of the whole of the politics in the United Kingdom. And I would see demands for independence growing in Wales under those circumstances. So eventually, what I would like to see is a, 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 a very different Britain based on uh, equality between state uh, and because at the moment I don't see that there is equality between those nations but I think there can be and I think that there is no reason whatsoever that we can't move forward in the spirit of cooperation and work together as separate nations within uh, an island which we're all bound by anyway. Well, for some considerable time, over a decade now, in fact, Plaid Cymru has argued that the funding formula does not uh, meet Wales's needs. And we've argued that our funding in Wales should be based on, on need and not on uh, population. And the Holton Commission has looked at that and has found that we've got a good case in Wales. Now, the challenge for the UK government is to implement the findings of the Holton report and also the Silk Commission, which has also looked at funding for Wales. There are big anomalies and big discrepancies uh, in the way that Wales is funding, and we are looking for the UK government to put that right.